What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be starting a new project here in the garage. I know I got a bunch of projects already going on at the moment and we still need to finish up the off-road mini quad that we just finished up a couple videos ago. I still want to tear this thing down and get it all painted up, but I want to take it out and actually beat the crap out of this thing and see what it could do, see if anything breaks. But lately, as you can tell, it has just been non-stop raining around here. So all the spots I actually want to go to and actually test this thing off-road have been flooded out and that's kind of the last thing I want to try first is actually trying to sink this thing and see what it could do but we'll try that later on so I wanted to start this project I've been kind of stirring in my head for a while now and slowly collecting a few parts for it so I want to get all those parts situated here in the center of the garage and kind of talk to you guys a little bit more about it you guys can probably already tell by the title of the video but We'll talk about that here in a little bit. So let's get everything all situated here and talk about it a little bit more. So as you guys can tell by the four wheels and kind of the wheel base setup on this thing, we are going to be building a micro go-kart out of this kind of whole setup we got going on here. So after I seen cars and cameras build their little micro go-kart for the first time, I've always wanted to build one of these and kind of after accumulating a few parts, I decided to kind of pull the trigger and just start deciding to build one since it really shouldn't be too much and it should be kind of a cheap little build. So I'm going to start off by actually building this thing out of a mini bike frame here. So I kind of deemed this frame unrebuildable at one point. It's just been sitting in my backyard ever since, since someone boogered up this front stem here and kind of these bearings are kind of all out of place and it's just not really too safe to kind of rebuild this whole thing into a mini bike. So kind of just had it to build into another project, which we are doing here now. And I'm gonna end up running a, I think it's a 105 cc engine. I think it's a two or three horsepower engine, pretty much stock that comes on these little small mini bikes or Motovox frames. Nothing too crazy, so to be super simple since this project's really not gonna go too fast with these small little six inch wheels and tires. So I ended up picking up these wheels from Harbor Freight from the back. They're just simple rim and tire, nothing too crazy. And then for the front, I picked these wheels up from Tractor Supply since these ones actually have some bearings since we're actually gonna have those for the front wheels to actually turn and just kind of be a solid place. So my kind of whole plan here is to kind of just build a whole little micro cart out of this old existing mini bike frame, kind of shorten it up a little bit and kind of do what we can. The whole goal is to kind of make this thing as compact as possible, but still be kind of comfortable to ride since all the other toys are kind of bigger. I don't want this toy to be kind of just pushed into the corner since it's too small and not really too comfortable to ride. So I wanted this thing to be fun and be able to just kind of toss in the back with the other toys and not really take up too much space at the end of the day. So my goal is to kind of just shorten up this whole frame completely, kind of shorten up the whole back end here and the front as well. So kind of where the wheels are right now is kind of my whole plan on where everything's gonna go. I wanna have a live axle right here. So most of the micro carts I've seen are all one wheel peels which I get, it makes it a lot easier to build it and kind of put it all together, but I really want to do a live axle on this so we can kind of drift it around and have a little bit of fun with it. So that's kind of my plan is to build a half inch live axle going on through here, yeah, but I really want to cut this down since it's kind of, I want to keep this whole thing kind of a short wheelbase as much as possible. So I kind of want to cut this down right past this kind of seat mount support right here and kind of bring this U section all the way up and then kind of straighten up this bar all the way up to the seat here, chop down the seat bracket, shorten up the seat to kind of right here, bring it all short and kind of shorten up this whole rear end. And then for the front, I kind of want to replace these little foot peg sections here and kind of build some custom up, custom spindles for this thing, mount up the front wheels, and then we can have a bunch of angle with it, no problem. And then kind of send all the steering forward and have it all running on the front. 
and have a steering shaft kind of come up in between these bars here and through the bottom there and kind of have some handlebars that I got lying right here up above here and it should be kind of nice small compact and pretty simple for the most part we just kind of got to figure out how we're going to shorten up this front since we're just going to kind of have a steering shaft shoot right between here i want to shorten this up a little bit as much as possible so i'm going to pull off these little plastic kind of things that are on the side so we can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here and i think i'm going to start chopping up a few things like chopping off this rear seat section and this rear back section so we can start figuring out how everything's all going to kind of lay out and kind of go from there and see how this thing goes i'm kind of just building this thing as I go. I don't have too many parts. I didn't really order up anything yet, but once we actually start getting it all together and figuring out a few things, I can start ordering up some stuff and kind of build this thing as we go. So I'm gonna get the chopping on this frame, getting some things together, maybe tack up a few things and I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. What's up guys? So it's actually the next day, last night, I ended up just getting the work on the frame, chopping a bunch of things down and ended up just kind of sitting here playing with a few ideas blowing up a few things and basically almost finished up the whole rear end so this is what she looks like right now so i did chop off the whole rear seat section there like i said and kind of brought up this u section to kind of cap off these two poles there and kind of clean this up make it look a little bit more natural and then i did the same for the bottom as well so cut those down i think i cut like three or four inches out of it so i cut that whole section out on each side and brought that u section up welded those up and those are nice and solid and then right when i did that i ended up realizing i did not have enough metal to actually finish up the little braces going in here so i kind of just ended up calling it a night at that point since it was pitch black out and i was ready to call it so today i ended up running to the store hit harbor freight picked up some more flap wheels and just grinding discs just because i needed those and then i also picked up some metal tubing so we can actually finish up the bottom seat brace here so my goal is to kind of just finish up the whole rear end at this point and start kind of moving my way forward just because the more i'm thinking about the front end here i think i might actually want to wait and before i modify the frame until we're actually building the whole steering and everything all out and kind of figure out where everything goes there but we'll talk about that in a little bit so i'm gonna get to work on actually finishing up these bottom little seat brackets here get this all welded up start grinding down some of my welds because because they're not prettiest and fill in a few as well and just get this thing all wrapped up and start moving our way forward and getting this thing all together and kind of finish up the frame that's kind of my whole goal in today's video is get the frame mostly dialed in so we can start ordering up some parts get some stuff on the way and then kind of figuring out all the little nitty gritty stuff to actually get this thing all complete so i'm gonna get to work on this thing and i'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit it's been a few hours as you guys can tell it is now dark outside so i've been working away on the mini bike frame here gotten the rear supports all in place and welded in i got those nice in line i'm super happy about those and kind of midway of welding these things in I ended up running out of welding wire so i will end up picking up some tomorrow we can actually finish up the whole rear end on this thing but everything's looking good so far i ended up just spending the time grinding out all my welds i did yesterday just to clean them all up and i found a few spots i want to touch up as well so we can get those all touched up once we get some more welding wire and i was thinking after a little bit i have some existing pipes still left over from adding these in there i'm thinking about maybe adding a little brace in between these two here kind of clean this thing up and kind of add a little bit of bumper a little bit more support as well so i'm pretty happy about that that'll kind of finish up the whole rear section and at this point we can kind of start moving forward and i really like to start working on all the steering assembly but i really don't have any of the materials I can start building some spindles and getting the steering shafts all in place and all that. So I'm gonna start picking up some of those tomorrow so we can actually start getting that all together, which will probably be in next video when we actually start getting all the steering on this thing. But I really just wanna get the main idea of the frame down so then we can start actually ordering up some parts and getting everything all on its way. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna start playing around with the engine, making sure this thing actually runs because this thing's been sitting in a shed for last two or three years been bone dry of gas so it shouldn't really have too many problems maybe three spray some starting fluid in it make sure it fires if it does then we're good to go so other than that we can just get that all good to go finish up the whole rear section and pretty much wrap up this video kind of show you guys with this pole here if i throw the like a steering shaft in place so the bottom of the steering shaft probably sit about right there in front of the rear wheels so you can kind of see it going up in between the frame there so my idea is to kind of, once we actually get the steering shaft in place on the frame, we can chop out what we need to. 
and I want to add a bigger pole than the steering shaft all the way down so it'll connect all these bars back together, strengthen everything all up and kind of make it look like a little stem that it would look like on a mini bike frame as usual because I kind of want to keep this thing looking like a mini bike frame but it is a micro go-kart at the end of the day so it's kind of the idea so at this point pretty much calling it a night so I'll catch you guys tomorrow once I got some more bone wire and we can finish up the whole rear end on this thing and start working away on the engine and all the little nitty gritty stuff. So it's the next day again. I ended up picking up some welding wire and getting the work on the frame already. I ended up welding up a little support brace I was talking about last night. I ended up deciding throwing it in there just to kind of strengthen up everything already. Threw a couple tacks on it. I just got her finished welding everything up and this top support as well, like these top bars. But I'll do that all off camera just because I know not a lot of people want to just watch a bunch of welding going on because it's a lot of welding and grinding because I'm no good welder so kind of just got to grind down whatever doesn't look the best <laughs> but since the whole rear end is pretty much all finished up at this point pretty happy with how everything's looking so far so now we need to start moving forward I really want to see if this motor actually runs since it's been sitting in the shed for the last two or three years I want to spray some starting fluid in it and see if this thing runs so I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod real quick and let's see if this thing will actually fire up and if she does then we know we got a solid little motor to actually toss into this middle mini micro cart and get this project rolling. So I ended up just pulling off the little air filter cover that comes on these things just so I can get direct access to the carb here. So I'll crack this baby open, spray some star fluid in there, see if this thing line should run. We know she runs, I'm not gonna lie, probably should have checked the oil, and I just realized that I had the clutch on there and it wasn't even bolted on, so glad that I didn't go flying, because that could have been bad. Probably just check the oil real quick, make sure I didn't just run this thing dry. It should have oil on it from as far as I know. Okay, she's got oil, we're good. <laughs> Not much, but there's oil in there, so that's a good sign at least. I didn't just run this thing dry. But alright, so we know we got a good little motor to actually toss into this little micro cart, so I'm pretty happy about that. So at this point, probably just wrap up this video from here. So you guys just saw we got the little two or three horsepower engine running after literally three starts of the pull cord. I had to watch that clip back and I'm actually pretty shocked about it since this thing's been sitting for probably two or three years now. And the more I look at it, this thing is actually super clean on the outside. We definitely got a little dirt to clean up, but nothing to really have to paint or really do too much with. I definitely want to do a little exhaust setup on this thing and a air filter kit since you can kind of see it all on the back of the frame there, kind of hang it all off and also get the exhaust out of the frame as well. But other than that, nothing really too crazy on this motor. Kind of just keep it stock with a couple little add-ons. But other than that, I'm not really, I don't really have too many parts I can actually do to this thing right now. Kind of just waiting for parts to come in, like the bearings for the axle, so we can actually build a full live axle. I do plan on building my own axle for this thing, since not many people make a 5 8 or half inch axle that has like half inch little axle stubs for wheels and stuff. And then also the same for the steering, so I gotta order up the tie rods and the bearings and stuff get all that in and then also pick up some more metal so we can make fabricate everything and make the spindles and stuff so other than that i'm just kind of planning everything out as i go at this point so hope you guys enjoyed kind of just the little process of starting this little micro cart because this thing's gonna be coming together pretty dang quick it's probably gonna be a couple part series i think it's gonna be part one and next video we should be either working on the steering or the live axle kit whatever one i kind of decide really want to get this thing a roller pretty soon so trying to work as fast as i can and kind of get as many parts as i can ordered up so other than that hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did hope you like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and peace out